Hello everyone! Welcome again to my vlog. Before I begin and talk about my date, I want to address something. One of the most common questions that I've been getting uh, are how are Ella and Eddie doing? And the answer is pretty awesome. They were sort of doing their own couple thing for a while and then Eddie started hanging around the group. She's a pretty red person by the way. And she's a great match for Ella. I wish I could take credit for this successful relationship, but it was all circumstantial. What happened? What? You t sent us a text saying to come over stat. Oh, right. Wait, are you doing a vlog? Yeah, perfect timing. Amelia, you said it was urgent. Well, I didn't think you would burst in here. I thought you'd finish your meal. Amelia. <sighs> Sorry, but let's just relax. I'll set up the camera and then I'll explain. Fine. So some serious moves were made by both JD and Nick. Did you, you know, have sex with them? Uh, was I not supposed to? You can do whatever you want. How was I supposed to know? You weren't. I don't really talk sex on my vlogs. Right, right, but back to the reason why we're here. Yes. On our date last night, Nick... Isn't this your second date with him this week? Yes, not the point. So we were hanging out at Nick's place last night, and he asked me to be in a relationship with him. Really? Yeah. What did you say? I told him that I... Wasn't saying no, but I needed to think about it. And have you? I wish I could. What made me sound so urgent in that text message was that JD actually texted me asking to also be exclusive with me. Oh, that's... I knew this was coming, but did they have to ask me within 24 hours of each other? Like, what the fuck? Did they plan this? I highly doubt that. Well, it sucks. What did you say to JD then? <sighs> I told him to give me some time to think it over. And have you? I haven't really had the chance to. How can we help? I have an idea. So in order to help me figure out what to do, we're going to be making charts. Um, unlike what I did with the Mary vlog, we're going to film us doing the process. And Eddie has agreed to be our camera woman. Happy to help. We're going to have one list comparing the pros and cons of being in a relationship in general, and then another comparing the pros and cons of JD and Nick. So let's start with the general relationship. What else? Well, I always am more confident when I'm in a relationship. How so? Well, it's like, hey, this person is into me, and that feels nice. That's fair. Company. Not that I don't have that at home, but it is nice to have someone that wants to spend time with you. I agree with that one. I have another, but I'm trying to make it not too much TMI. Intimacy? Yes, that. Intimacy. Thanks. Another would be no more awkward or bad dates. Thank Hufflepuff. Agreed. Another pro would be no more family bugging me about being single. Yeah, your mom's been uh, nagging me to find you someone. <sighs> so embarrassing. <laughs> what else? Uh, doing stuff. Spending time together. Someone to deal with my nerdy and weird antics. What about cons? Hmm. Less free time and independence. And having to meet the family. That'll be brutal. That's an understatement. Hanging out with our single friends will be different. How so? I understand this one. We have a really close-knit group of friends, and for most, a majority of the time, most of us have been single. It's like splitting your time between two committed relationships. You have to find the balance. Yeah. No, I don't think a lot of them will understand. It's going to take some adjustment time. Mm -hmm. Point taken. What else? Less Christina time. No explanation needed. Complacency. Monotony bores me, and what if I give up a goal of mine because I'm with someone, even if it's a small one? That's a good one. You're forgetting one. I am? It's a pretty big one. The possibility of getting hurt. Oh, yeah. That's a con for sure. So that was our relationship pros and cons. Now we're going to move on to the pros and cons of JD and Nick. Let's start with JD. Okay. He's quiet, which can be good, but it's hard to have a conversation sometimes. At least he's relaxing to be around. Keep going. Okay. He texts me in multiple messages instead of a single long one. He doesn't like history. Uh, he likes horror movies, which I don't like at all. Um, he's very family oriented, but he also isn't that affectionate. JD's ready to settle down, but 
I don't know if I'm ready for that. Okay. What about Nick? He's a Gryffindor. Is that positive or negative? Definitely positive. He wants to travel, and he's really creative with his date ideas. He can be protective, which he admits. That's something that could be both a positive and a negative. Yeah, we'll have to watch after that. Moving on. He has family issues, and I don't know how reliable he'll be long term. How so? Well, he wants to move around a lot, and eventually I'm going to want to settle down. I have a strong family relationship and awesome friends. I don't know what he's going to want. It's a valid concern. Hmm. What else? He's energetic, which could be both positive and negative. Oh, he's tall. That's a positive? Don't get her started. It provides maximum cuddle game. I'm not going to ask. Well... Hmm. What do you plan to do? 